Ladies and gentlemen, this video is scheduled for one tutorial and one look with a little bit of tasty trivia. Introducing to you today, your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the royalty and the voice of SWA, the broke beauty guru, the ring queen, Lexa Rose! And of course, some side comments from Trigger Bohannon because right now he's gaming. So, uh, of course, if you guys have been following me for the last like five years, you'll know that once in a while Trigger will kind of chime in. Um, not that he means to, it's just that, you know, we're sh sharing a room, he's gaming, I'm doing makeup. It is what it is. I mean, all my old fans know that this is something that's been happening for years. So, without further ado, let's get into today's look. Um, ooh. I forgot something. Hmm. All right, much better. Um, I had to put my, you know, my belt behind me. I still have to return it. Yes, I do. I know because I am now retired. I am no longer technically a champion. I'm a retired champion, but th that's neither here nor there. Okay? We're talking about this lovely woman right here. The lovely Luna Vachon. Now, of course, you know this whole entire channel is about bridging um, the gap between makeup and wrestling. And... Of course, Luna Vachon was known for her iconic, um, I guess you could call vein look, uh, only because the colors were like red and blue, so they were made to look like veins, but they kind of look like thunder as well. So I kind of wanted to do a little combo, and I wanted to do a, a bit of a neon look with the um, veins on her face. So we're going to be doing um, a modern um, inspired look of Luna Vachon, as well as giving you guys a little bit of um, background, a little bit of her history of who she was. She was definitely an influential woman in wrestling. She came from a very huge wrestling background, so this wasn't no shrinking violet. This wasn't some new girl trying to get into the business. This is a woman who has been in the business since she was a child. Um, <clears throat> so without further ado, um, we're going to just prep and prime our face. Mostly our eyeballs because we're going to be doing the eye makeup look um, first. So we're going to just start with the eyebrows. Now, if you look at Luna um, in this particular look that I'm going to be recreating, you'll see that one eyebrow is a little bit more intense than the other. So um, basically, this side of her face is the intensity side, the intense side that you know she has all the makeup on. And this side is kind of like a softer, more feminine side and the reason why I like that so much is because she basically showed you guys I'm a woman that can do both okay I can be both beautiful I can be strong I can be violent I can be vicious I can be brown I can be blue I can be flying let's sky. okay never mind um but of course you know Luna stood out I mean everybody knows this iconic makeup look everybody knows this woman she is so iconic um and she was one of the very few women in the business that kind of you know, like Sensational Sherry, they knew what they were doing in the ring. They weren't just pretty eye candy. So, um, let's get started with just the eyes. Um, I'm just going to go right in with my Beverly Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Bar Pomade for this side. Um, this side, it's going to be a lot darker, more intense, because it kind of, if you see in the picture, it's kind of very thick, and then it kind of comes up almost like a little Vulcan wing what so and then this side is just kind of normal soft subdued so we're going to be doing um both sides of the face and of course we're going to be using my favorite makeups um this side is going to be um indie beats and the winner is and then this side is going to be a combination of bombshells and the flip it and reverse it palette so i can um use the intense blue right here to draw on the kind of veins and again it's going to be neon veins so it's not going to be like you know oh it's you know just her veins and it's just going to be a complete you know copy paste i want to add my own spin to it so um what we're going to do is of course i've got my beauty blender i've got my um eyebrow um brush and we're just going to go in on just this side of the face, um, completely natural, uh, nude, you know, Bummer. very reserved. And then, of course, this side is completely intense. So we're going to just kind of start with this eye first. 
and take it from there. Okay, so we got the eyebrow on. We're going to go right into our P. Louise base. We're going to go with the, of course, more natural looking base for this eye because, again, this side is going to be completely neutral, like straight nude. Um, there's pretty much going to be barely any work done on this side of the face. Um, just some, you know, again, I'm going to be using the And the Winner is palette just to kind of give me a more glam look um other than as you can tell hers is more like soft and subtle um we're gonna kind of glam it up for this one okay so of course we've got the base on our brush and we're just gonna use that to kind of clean up the eyebrow we just created Okay, so now that we have gotten the eye prepped and primed, we're just going to go right into Adele and we're just going to put that all over the lid just to give us a nice little transition and a base. Alright, so now that we've got that on, we're going to go we right back right in with the them. same brush. And we're just going to hit up Tina and we're going to just use that to kind of deepen up the transition that we put on the lid. Just right on the crease. I forgot I'm supposed to be doing like, you know, trivia for this. Um, <clears throat> so let's begin. Luna was born Gertrude Elizabeth Wilkerson on January 12th, 1962 in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, unfortunately, she did pass away in August of 2010, uh, most specifically August 27th. Um, she went by the names Luna Vachon, Luna, Princess Luna, and Angel Baby. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, again, this is a very, very simple look, nothing too crazy. We're just going to put our finger into Barbara, and we're going to just put this on the lid. And then, of course, we'll give you some of her achievements. Um, Luna was the USWA Women's Champion, the inaugural American Wrestling Federation Women's Champion, the Great Lakes Champion chip wrestling ladies title holder the sunshine wrestling federation women's champion the wwow television champion the lmlw world champion and poww tag team champion as well as the wsu hall of fame class of 2011 and the wwe hall of fame class of 2019 legacy wing okay we're just gonna go back into um tina to kind of deepen up that outer corner and we're also going to go into and we're also going to just do searcha which is this really nice matte black color and we're just going to kind of mix them to give ball um a little bit more about luna she is the daughter of famed canadian grappler paul butcher vachon um and it wasn't just you know him as a role model that got her into the business um, she had her uncle Maurice Mad Dog Vachon, who was a five-time AWA World Champion, and of course her aunt Vivian Vachon, who was probably one of the most successful female superstars in the 1970s. Around the age of 16, she actually started training with Vivian. We're just going to bring this out just a little bit, you know, just to kind of give it a little glam. Because <laughs> we all know Luna wasn't exactly glam, but she was. Period. If you kind of understand where I'm coming from but she had begun under the name of Trudy Heard before working with Kevin Sullivan as his cultist Luna there's really not much about Luna because sadly she was very underutilized by the WWE except she definitely had like this bizarre glam quality about her but again she had just started out as kind of like a backstage correspondent and then joined Kevin Sullivan and then that's when she kind of get, got into her character as Luna. She was in a tag team called the Daughters of Darkness with Winina Littleheart. So they were basically a tag team. 
I am going to go into, of course, I have been in love with this liquid liner from Laced with Cherry. It's just, it's been great. As you can tell, this side is already done. Because, again, this is the soft side of Luna. Um, but we're going to just do the eyes first. And then, of course, the face. And then we're going to do the graphics on the side. But, um... You know, after breaking up the Daughters of Darkness, she became a manager in the indie circuit. Okay, so let's say a little prayer to the makeup gods and put this liner on. I like this a lot more than regular liner because it just go, it glides on so smoothly. It really does. Okay, so we got one side done. Now we're going to do the fun side. Ooh. And as you can tell, that side is going to be a lot of fun. But of course, we're going to start with the eyebrows. Now, this is going to stray from the normal eyebrow, obviously. So we are going to go right into our liquid liner. And we're going to just do some brush strokes. And we're going to just bring the wing up rather than, you know down because as you could tell she's got that like bulking wing going on so we're gonna just start with the eyebrows first and we're gonna just kind of draw some hair in there and of course nothing too crazy we want to just kind of get that wing going and of course now that we got the wing we're gonna just kind of drag it in and bam i'm gonna have to make that wing just a little bit bigger but, of course, you know, start small, build up. Okay. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is, of course, we're going to clean it up. And we're using the white base from our P. Louise. Because we want the, of course, Luna side to stand out. Also, we're going to go right into our Flip It and Reverse It palette. And we're just going to go with, obviously, Searcha. And then we're just going to dunk into our Sakura Picnic because it has a really nice silver right here called Charmy Kitty. So we're going to put that as well as, of course, Searcha on the outer corners because this side is supposed to be like the, you know, standout side. So, um, yeah. Let's get to priming. We're going to just use the same brush because it's all good in the hood. My germs. Also, let's continue with a little bit of tasty trivia about Luna. She debuted in the WWE and would feud with, obviously, Sensational Sherry, but most notably, Alundra Blaze. In 95, she would side with Tommy Dreamer with his feud against Raven and ECW. It, just to note that when she was in the WWE, she was also managing Bam Bam Bigelow, which kind of really made her stand out because they fit together so well. Of course, Bam Bam had his iconic head tattoo, which, you know, was something that most people weren't, I have to safely say, comfortable with. And, you know, that's too bad. You know, it's not my fault that you know you can't handle bam bam's freaking swag now we're going to just use this to kind of clean up the brow bone and this really crazy wing just be careful though because you don't it's it's definitely a water activated um liner so it's definitely gonna like kind of mix if you're not careful with it Just so you know, I get these from random wrestling sites. It's not like I could find academic sources on Luna Vachon. <laughs> it's not like there's like, you know, a, a legit encyclopedia unless, you know, the family has like a whole website that has her whole family history, but I have yet to find it. So we're just going to start off with, of course, space from our and the winner is so we're just going to go right into our Sakura Picnic palette and we're just going to go right into fruit baskets and we're just going to. I mean, it's the same colors, so, you know, it's all indie brands. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go right into Searcha, which is this, of course, matte black. And we're just going to put that 
on the outer corners just to kind of give ourselves a little reference of where we're going to put the uh, silver. Okay, so we're just going to get a clean fluffy brush and we're just going to go right into fruit baskets and we're just going to blend all this black out. Okay, so we're going to cut this crease. <laughs> Again, you're going to be hearing my husband in the background, which we don't care because we, we support our gamer husbands on this channel, okay? Support your local gamer. Um, we're just going to take a little bit of that white base because we want this silver to really pop off. Like, uh, can I say pop off? Did you know you guys can paint the black with a fire bottle? No, I did not know that. Thank you. Gaming tips from Bohannon. Don't forget to follow his channel, too. Like, there's a lot of funny stuff that goes on. Especially when Pirate is semi-lucid. Okay, so as you can tell, <clears throat> the difference is black and white. Anyways, now what we're going to put on the lid is obviously Cherry Kitty. That pretty silver right there. And of course we're going to grab just a simple flat brush. Going to be using this brush. Um, I never, never knew that. We and stand under the light we're just going to go right into it and pop it all over the lid. Okay, so we're going to go right back into Searcha, and we're just going to pop this onto the corner and kind of just like deepen it out. Okay, so we are done with yeah. the glam side of her face, pretty much. We're just going to go right into our, of course, one of the bars graphic liner, and of course we're just going to do the line. Don't but this one's going to be a little bit more intense, so we're going to also do the inner Don't corners, but I'm going to wait until I do the whole entire face, How many put the inner corner highlights like and like stuff like three. that. But we're just going to kind of get this like one, the right? main part of the liner on, just so that it's there to kind of mark our territory a little bit. Alright, so now that we've got the crazy part done, we're going to just do the face and we're going to just do it off camera um, because we really want to focus on doing the vein look. So we're just going to, again, prep, prime everything off camera so that my husband can blab with his friends and stuff like that because I feel like I'm kind of like, you know, suppressing him a little bit. Um, but it's kind of, I'm, I'm trying to compromise here. You know, that's how we work it. That's how we do it. You know, when you're a gaming couple, you got to do that. But anyways, I will be right back with my face done up and ready to go and then we're gonna get to the fun part the vein okay I just wanted to show you guys something real quick now you'll notice that like half my face looks normal the other half looks a little paler than usual so um if you see the photo for reference half her face is pale um I just noted that while I was in the middle of everything so um as I was doing my base or my foundation actually I noticed while looking at the reference photo, half her face, even her lipstick is, you know, one side neutral, one side really, really, really dark. And I have the perfect dark color that's going to complement the lip look very, very nicely. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference. What I did was, I basically just took a little bit of the Indie Beats Cosmetic White Face Base and just put a little bit on my hand and then just mixed it with the foundation I already had on my face to kind of give me a bit of a pale look. Of course, I didn't do the inner corners yet. I wanted to make sure the base was put on before I add like the highlights in the inner corners and the brow bone and everything else, including the vein design on the side of her face. Okay, so the face is already prepped and primed. I obviously put, you know, of course, Portal Peach from Laced with Cherry on the cheeks as a cream base. Then, of course, we topped it off with our Powerpuff Girls and Fighting Crime. We set half the face with my Ofra Banana Powder and also the Beauty Bakery Flower 
Better Not Bitter setting powder in Rice, only to give this side that kind of brightness that comes with the glam side of this look. Of course, we used our Pearly's BB Cream just to kind of put ourselves a base on the whole face. And of course, I showed you guys the face base to kind of brighten this side, just so you could see the stark contrast between her soft, subdued side and then the crazy side. Of course, I did my inner corners using our Taylor Beauty highlighter palette. I used a mix of nickel and cinnamon right here on obviously you know the cheeks and then the inner corners and stuff like that and the brow bone and then on this side what I used was a combination of obviously a setting spray for you know both sides but for this side I went in with my star gem cosmetics loose highlighting powder in bone daddy which kind of gives it that like iridescent purplish sparkle but again yeah this is how it's coming out so far. Now we're gonna kind of do a little bubble bubble toil and trouble and start mixing the mediums so we can do the base for the... So um, of course we're gonna be using our liquid liner from Lace with Cherry. We're gonna be using our bring in, um, our flip it and reverse it and our and the winner is. We're gonna be hitting up this red color called Rumpa Pum which is a very nice vibrant red. It's gonna look really great when I draw in the details of the veins. And of course, we're gonna go right into our bombshells palette. Sorry, I meant bombshells and our flip it and reverse it. We're gonna go right into this color, which is He Loves You Not. And those are gonna be the two colors for the veins. But what I wanna do is I wanna finish up the eye. So we're just gonna grab a smudger brush and we're gonna go right into Searcha and Adele to kind of soften everything up and I'm going to do the inner corners and stuff off camera because I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do you know smoky eyed looks so I'm going to do all this other stuff off camera and then we'll be back to do the setup for the veins okay so um of course we all know Luna has the veins on this side of her face but we want to kind of do a neon version of it Mm. I know you're probably wondering, Miss Girl, how are you going to accomplish this? With my Indie Beats drumstick brush and my Flip It and Reverse It palette, we're going into Boys. And we're just going to kind of draw kind of veins on our face. Um. A couple more trivias before we kind of wrap this up. In 1997, the gorgeous Miss Vachon, she returned to the WWE to feud with Sable. And in 98, she would debut as Princess Luna with the oddities. You guys remember that. She was in the pink dress with the little crown. Of course, she kind of was in the indie scenes. She was also training up and toward, uh, up until, you know, her unfortunate, you know, passing. But... Of course, Luna was an icon. She spread her knowledge and wisdom to many, many people. Not just men, but women as well in this wrestling business. And we love her for that. I'm going to finish up doing the veins. And then I'll give you, you know, the final results and the final product. right right mm. okay all right so now we're gonna go into rompa pom and he loves you not right here and we're just gonna kind of pop the colors where they're supposed to go and of course hope for the best we're gonna grab these two brushes and we're gonna just kind of fill in wherever it just kind of you know floats our boat yeah, let's get into it. What's your profanity?
I told y'all, y'all need to trust the process. And y'all probably looking like, this looks like a bunch of shit on your face. But this is supposed to be a neon glow look. So now, we're going to go right back into our... Voila, the neon. This came out better than I expected. See, I tell you guys, trust the process. Trust it. Just gonna grab this small little bottle cap. We're just gonna put some water in there. We're just gonna kind of dunk the brush delicately. Look, just, 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 just a, just a tip, just a tip, just to kind of rework the creaminess of the graphic liner. So. And to do the rest of the face now. So, haha. <laughs> this is my first time trying a uh, neon look, so I was very scared. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, bitch, did you have to really do the whole face? Yes. I mean, What's the point of recreating in a kind of look if I have to just like minimize it? Miss Luna was never a minimalist, okay? She was loud, she was raunchy, and she was a badass. And as you can tell, I am finished. Oh my god! Yeah, this look was a little crazy, but it came out really nice. Now the next part is the lashes and the lips. And of course, you know, her lips were kind of, uh, especially in this picture half and half so we're gonna go with christmas cookie from the jeffree star liquid lip and okay found it so we're gonna be using triggered and christmas cookie so of course christmas cookie is gonna go on this side which is the kind of mute more demure side and then of course this side is gonna be triggered and then we're just gonna do the lashes and stuff like that off camera and then you know we'll get to my final thoughts on what i think about this I mean, I love it, but, you know. Be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. I am just, like... Yes! I mean... Period? I mean, I I didn't expect it to come out. Like, I love this look. I love how it came out. Um, I decided to throw a little wig on and stuff like that to kind of, you know, complete the look, so to speak. Um... As you could tell, this is my, I believe it's my Kira wig from, insert name here, great hair uh, brand. I'm more of a love me girl. Their wigs are thebomb.com, but I do love the hair from insert name here. Came out great. I'm thoroughly thrilled and happy with it. If you like this tutorial and you like, you know, me doing this out of my comfort zone look, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click the notification buttons. New videos every Monday. Um, bonus videos whenever I feel like it. Um, don't forget to get my very first book, The Pure Blood Eternal, available on Amazon Books. The link will be in the description. Also, check out my Wattpad for my second story, The Last Minion Warrior. That will also be um, in the description box. So without further ado, I am your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the royalty and the voice of SWA, the broke beauty guru, the ring queen, Lexa Rose, saying, keep it Gucci Gucci, bitches.